Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to talk about the cause of magnetism. This is Unit 3, Lesson 5, Part B. So the second part of Lesson 5. So uses for electromagnets, which is your aim. Magnets and devices, lifting heavy objects containing iron, such as cars and trains. So in a scrapyard, when you need to move around old junk cars, you can use electromagnets or trains that no longer function. In order to measure an electric current, use a galvanometer. Is a device that measures the strength and direction of the electric current, and it looks just like this. So you have the north and the south, and in between, it will measure that current. How do motors work? An electric motor changes electrical energy into mechanical energy, so it's converting that electrical energy um, into a form of mechanical energy to actually manually make the car move and work. Some of them run on DC, direct current, and others run on alternating current, AC. Depends on the type of motor, because a motor is not just in a car, it's in many different things. So motors use electromagnets. Electric motors are very similar to galvanometers. The difference is in a motor, the electromagnet is made to rotate all the way around instead of back and forth in the magnetic field. So this will actually move completely around. A simple motor has a coil or a loop of wire called an armature mounted between the poles of a magnet. So here we have the first coil, the second coil. This is the south pole of the permanent magnet, the north pole of the permanent magnet, and this will be allowed to move around. Uses for induction. Using a magnetic field to create an electrical current in a wire is called electric induction because you're forcing an electrical current to appear. <clears throat> which it wouldn't have been here before. So you're actually inducing or creating the electric field. The electric charges move through a wire. The wire carries a current. Magnetic force from the magnet moving inside a coil can make the electric charges in the wire move. When the magnet stops moving, the current will stop. So this is how we actually induce an electric field. To change the voltage, an important device that relies on electric induction is called a transformer. And you see them on top of power lines. In fact, sometimes when they, when they die, they explode in a large pop. And you're like, what's that? And all of a sudden your electric goes out. So that's a transformer. Transformers use induction, so you're creating an electric current to increase or decrease the voltage of an alternating current. Most transformers are iron rings with two coils of wire inside of it. And we use them every day in our electrical wires. If you want to generate electricity, we have electric generators. They use induction to change mechanical energy then into electric energy. So it's kind of the opposite of how a motor works. We're taking mechanical energy and changing it into electric energy. And we use these when the power fails in hospitals, so we can even have them in homes now. They are opposite of electric motors, I just said that. Generators include electric current when a magnet moves in a coil of a wire or when a wire moves between the two poles poles. So here you have the copper wire. The movement of the copper wire generates the electric, electric field, the electricity. And that's the end of today's notes. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye guys.